Hi, happy Wednesday. Hope you're all right. You've had a nice day. Swally you spit, you twat. All right. I've been down the charity shops. I've got a full bag. I've got a full bag to show you. Almost. Almost a full bag. I had to like grab this bag out of my boots. So I emptied it. I had all kinds of shit in it from like the beach. My car. I've wondered where all my towels are gone. They're all in the back of my car. You know, from the beach. I just chuck it in. I forget about it. I get out of the car and I go about my business. One down, one down towel. One towel down every time. So I'm trying to say. But um, yeah, I wonder where they're all going. But they're in my car. But um, yeah, I've had the chillest morning. Honestly, I've had the sun is shining. I woke up and I was like, right, I'm gonna get a chariot. Go, go. Oh my god, I can't speak today. I'm gonna get a chariot. Yeah, I've had a really nice morning. You know, I've had a wander. I've come home, the kids are up here, the grass has been done, the house is tidy, and Steve's cooking dinner tonight. He's doing like a corn chicken pesto pasta. I'm not having it with pasta because I'm not really a fan of pasta, but I'm gonna have it on like a sweet potato, so I need to go out and get one. But um yeah, I just do you know you just feel a little bit like energized? Do you know what I mean? I was going back to my car and listen. I was in no wrong, all right? I'm parked in my lines. The next door's car's parked in their lines. None of the cars were in the wrong. Like, I'm in my bit, they're in their bit. But as I got to my car, I could hear them moaning. Like, I don't think they knew that that was my car. Like, do you know what I mean? They were just moaning about not being able to get in. But I thought, listen, suck it up. I had to suck it up to get out. I didn't think I was gonna get out. So, you know, I had to really, do you know what I mean? To like, get in. Get in. Like, I thought I'm gonna have to go through the boot at this point. But, you know, I thought, we've all got to suck it up, all right? Just get in, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But I got in my car and I was like, I'm going now, don't worry. You know, so I drove off. But um, I just want to smile, all right, I'm going to drive off now. You know, they could have got in, to be honest, they could have got in. Even in the charity shop, I was walking around it, I felt like everyone had a right face on. <laughs> I was like, fucking hell, smile. Do you know what I mean? You're in the chazza. Listen, I've got Steve for his t-shirts, right, he's fuming. He said, don't bother getting me up again. <laughs> he said, you just hold that up and tell me what you think. And it's like a bit off balance, it's a bit weird, but um, yeah, it was like, I've sorted my own shit out right in the future. But laughing about it, you know, we have a laugh in that. But um, yeah, anyway, I'm going off, so I'll show you my bits if you do want to stick around. I will do a try on tomorrow. Um, sweating my tits off today for that, I am. It's about 30 degrees. When I got in the car, it said 30, I fucking hell. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I'll show you everything. So if you want to stick around, I really appreciate it. If you have to like and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I shall get on with it. This is the topping question, all right. He usually likes a half sip, you know, he is quite fond of a half sip, my Steve, and I found a half sip, all right, which is really nice. Okay, it's by the brand Dare To Be, which says Welcome To Our Mountain, and it's an XL, all right, it says Men's XL in it. But this bit here goes up. I'm not sure I noticed that in the shop. I don't think I did, unless it's for something. It's either shrunk in someone's wash. <laughs> it's either shrunk in the wash or it's supposed to be like that. And I, I don't know. But anyway, I told him no one will notice. But then on the back, he said he's got fucking pockets. <sighs> he said the pockets are on the back. He was just happy about this one, but it was a quid anyway. You know, Sue Ryder. You know, I like a bit of Sue Ryder. So um, it says week number 16, so I think he's been there about 16 weeks, and I can see why. But I've just seen the half zip. So, um, you know, I just... Yeah, I've just seen the half zip. But anyway, and then he usually wears plain black... Pla oh my God, plain black t-shirts. All right, so I've got this one, which is a Primark um, stretchy top. Yeah, just for... Well, just, just to wear, you know? It's in quite good condition, you know, there's like no bobbling or anything. Like it literally looks new. He's moaning, but when he's run out of tops, he'll faint me. So, and then this one, which is next regular fit, pound. I thought that's quite nice and crisp for the summer, you know. I know it's not an half zip, but it's an half button. And that's Steve's bits, which is unimpressed me. So, I only spent £15.10 in this charity shop. That's amazing. Listen, right, I've got a few bits. All right, that ain't my size, but we've proven, okay? We've proven that size don't matter, all right? Because if it's got a bit of stretch, there's a chance, all right? We're winning, okay? So, first thing that I've got is this really gorgeous, I think it's gorgeous anyway, little like peplum top. So I love the print, 
and it's proper stretchy. It is. Oh, I've done the stretch test, you. Um, size 12. <laughs> size 12. But I've uh, got this. And I just think it's really pretty and I definitely think that I will fit in it. So it was a pound and I will take the risk. All right. And um, I've got this bedtime top, which I think is really nice. So it's from TU in a size 16 and it's a pound from £2.50. So really good condition, you know, and it says sleepy head on it. So just, I love stuff like this, you know, just even down the co-op. Do you know what I mean? I'm not one for really like going out in my PJs. Like I've, unless I'm nipping out in the car and I haven't got to get out of the car. So, you know, if I'm just running somewhere and Steve will be like, oh, I'm running the shop. But I'd nip in and get a pint of milk with this. So it's got like the little stringy bits there. I think it's quite nice for a quid. And then I wasn't too sure about this, but I really liked it because I feel like, well, it's not different, but it is a little bit, you know, it's, mm, I don't know. Anyway, it's a vest top. So it's from Next. I'm not really sure how it goes. It's like a like crisscrossy top. It's from Next, all right, it was a pound. So it don't look like it fits, but because I can't, there you go. That's like the full size. Not sure I did the stretch test very well on this one, but it's like a crisscross. I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm not sure. But I liked it because it's different, but I'm, oh, I'm not sure it's going to fit right. Fuck it, let's have a look. Bear with me, won't you? I've got my other top on underneath. That'll make a difference, you see. Oh. Oh. Fucking hell, that's gorgeous. Oh, I'm well chuffed I got that. This is a size 14 laughing weren't you hey not now though look take my bra off pretend i've not got like oh <laughs> all right see like pretend i've not got any of that on anyway so i just took it on now oh it's giving me fucking arm cellular i'm sure but see what i mean that's quite nice that there you go that's from next this is Listen, I've got to take it off because it's a bit tight on the back, all right, but it's all right. It's nice. I'll wear it out. I think it's because I've got about 10 other tops on. Hang on, well, I've not. I've got my bra and... Hang on. Okay, now. This, right. Oh, my God. I fell in love with it. Okay. Again, it's a green top. All right, we're going for the green today. But look. It ruffles up around here. And it's from... Where is it from? It says linear in a size large. It was a pound, originally a fiver. All right, and it's just like a proper nice little shirt. I love it. Honestly, I can just imagine like going for a meal in that, like the color's just so nice. So that was a quid, a quid. It's very pretty, it's quite smart. And then I found these, right, they were 10p. So just like historical um, stickers. So Nelson Mandela, Sir Thomas More, you know, Mother Teresa. So, you know, just for their notepads and stuff. You know, like when the kids get a bit creative, when all the pens come out and all that. So, right, I found this game and I'm proper excited to play it. Do you remember how I got the um, 10 clues? Honestly, we've all loved that. It's a proper good game. You know, because it's just like a little card game. Like, there's not much to it, but there is. And it, honestly, it was loads of fun. We loved doing it. We all sat out in the garden the other night doing it and it was just hilarious. But this is brand new. Look, it's not been opened. So this is Celebrity Scandals and it says Celebrity, well, get where's that, Celebrity Quote on the front and Answer on the back. So me and Steve quite often, all right, it'll be about 11 o'clock at night. Okay, we'll make a coffee, we'll get all cosy, we'll have like the light, little lights on. You know, the window's open, the back door's open because it generates a bit of breeze, you know, and it's just really nice and chill. It's proper cosy and we'll just like sit there and play one of these shitty games. Honestly, we end up having a right laugh. And the other one we play is Roggins. So we listen to Radio 1 and Greg James does it. So it's really funny. Like, honestly, we love playing stuff like that. So it don't take much, but like it, do you know what I mean? It like brings you closer, like, do you know what I mean? And then you just go to bed laughing. Like we get the proper giggles. But yeah, a game of 56 outrageous showbiz scandals. I didn't think I'm gonna get that out then. So this was originally 150 and then a quid. So can't wait to play that. And then, all right. Oh my god, I love this. This is a pound, all right, and it's a size 14. It's by Henry Holland, it says. that say Henry Holland? Yeah. It's proper nice. I like, look at that. It's really soft. But I'm thinking, like, 
winter, sum not summer, what am I on about? Summer, twat, autumn and winter is what I'm trying to say. You know, when I'm doing all my me, me shopping at TK Maxx, getting all my candles in, which I fucking love. I cannot wait, you know, to all the Halloween stuff. I fucking fly. <sighs> but yeah, this was a pound. You know, with some jeans and some nice, do you know me? <gasps> You know, my Clark's boots, my furry boots that I got from the Chazza, all right, that were a quid. You know them, with this and a pair of jeans, pumpkin spice latte in one hand, that I've made at home because I ain't fucking paying Starbucks prices, <laughs> you know. I live in fucking dreamland, I do, I'm telling you. You know what I mean, though. And then I've got this, which is by H&M in a size large, is that? Is that a size large? Shut up, I can't remember where to Size large, size small. We'll pretend it's large though. And this was on the 50p rail. All right, I'm trying to convince you now. It's a size large. It's a size small, but it's stretcher. All right, it's stretcher. And I like the colour, but look. All right, bit of stretch. 50p, 50p on the half price rail. And then I got this, which is from H&M again, in a size medium. So this was a pound. Originally, I thought I said a five, I was gonna say. Just a really nice, pretty top, you know? Just, do you know what I mean? It's quite nice, isn't it? For a quid. From the old H&M. I ain't got an H&M near me, see? So, and then, right, I've got a couple of dresses. Did I? Oh, no, I've got a boob tube. Look at this. This is from Dorothy Perkins. In a size 20, this is. But I liked the booby shape at the front. So, I've got boob tubes, but they're just like, like that. Whereas this, it's got like... My little shape. I like stuff like that, you know, just a little bit of extra detailing, I do. And this was um a pound it was. I've got some dresses. Have I got some dresses? What's this? No, this was off the 50p rail. So this is by Anne Harvey, it says. And I've seen this for a few weeks. And I just thought it's a sign. Because I do like red. And it has got a mark on it. That's what put me off. There's a mark on it somewhere, but I'm convinced I'm going to be able to get it out. So it's just a little, um, a little, like I, I love red, you know, I, I just do. And I, yeah, I think it's got a mark on it somewhere here. You see, but I'm convinced I'm going to get it out. 50p, you know, just thought, fuck it. And then, right, I've got three dresses. I think these are my dresses. <sighs> okay, listen. She said this only come in this small. Oh no, this is off the 50p railing. Oh, I will get some dresses, by the way. This is head. Do you remember head? Look at that, 50p. The old fitness uh, person that I am, you know, on my old bike. It's off all right. Bit of the old head. All right. <laughs> and then I've got, um, right, this is by, so this is by phase eight. Okay, and I just think this is really nice. So you can't really see it, but it's um, like a, a nice floaty dress. It's got like um, a belty bit here, so that can pull you in. You'll see it better in the try on. But um, yeah, it was phase eight in a size, just a really nice classy black dress, I think. So you can see, like it's got like the crossover detail here and stuff. So, you know, maybe one day I'll get to wear it somewhere nice. Then this one, right, it is from Primark. It does look very small, okay, but it is very stretchy, all right? And if I can stretch the shit out of it, you all know this, okay? You all know this. So if you're here to give me some shit, all right, move along, because I won't take it, all right? But this is a proper nice, like I love this little detail here, like the little tie, so I will stretch it, and I don't even care if it clings onto me, because, yeah, well, anyway, it was a pound. <laughs> And then this one, all right. This is very stretchy for a size. I won't tell you the size, but if you didn't see the size, you wouldn't even think, would you? So you wouldn't even like ask. But look, it's mad stretchy. Seriously, it's a proper nice dress with like huge pockets. And I'm just thinking with my flickers, you know, when I'm out with the kids, look at that. Honestly, it, this is unbelievably stretchy. All right, look. Look here, okay. It's got a stretchy back. It's that material, look at the back. That really stretches. It's from the Messiah Clothing Company. And this is a pound. So she said, yeah, this only come in this morning. And it's just really nice and heavy. Like it's a proper nice, 
Do you know what I mean? Nice little dress. So, yeah, that's a size extra small. Which I will be. But I think I'll get in it now. All right. That's it. That's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Honestly, this is proper top-notch material. It's really nice, you know. Really stretcher. Keep saying that, don't I? I'm trying to convince you. No, it is. It's really nice. But, um, yeah, if you have got anything negative to say, honestly, I can't be asked for your shit. I don't need the asshole. I, I won't take the asshole, all right? Like, I just can't be asked. Go and fucking cry somewhere about it. But I shall love you and leave you now. So I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram. I have started posting more on there, which is fajj202. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go now. So, as always, my friends, don't let any dickheads get you down. Well, we are, all right? You're absolutely fucking amazing. Okay, honestly, you really are, all right? Know your worth because you're important. I say it every single time because you are. You're so important. It's unreal. All right, know your worth, all right? Go and stand out in the sun. <sighs> Big, deep breaths, strong coffee. Remember who the fuck you are, okay? Because you are everything. Don't take no one's shit, all right? We ain't got time for shit. I don't take shit. You don't take shit. No one takes shit, all right? Live for you. You're amazing. I could go on all day. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.